What's going on guys? So uh, <laughs> we're looking at a very familiar flashlight. Um, I mean, at a quick glance, this appears to be the WowTac uh, BSS V4, but it is not. It is the Thrunite BSS V4. So BSS, by the way, stands for Boy Scout Survival, which we have his uh, logo on top there. Um, I talked about the version 4 of the WowTac BSS not too long ago. I want to say it was October, if I'm not mistaken. And it's awesome. I mean, it's just the, the fourth variation on this flashlight. It's extremely bright, very capable. Comes with the cool uh, red filter. All right, so you can get all your, your tactical uh, jobs done. It's actually one of the nicest red filters on the market, period. Uh, and then, of course, you have this, uh, you know, crazy crenulated bezel, which is removable. If you don't want to be all extra tactical and beat people down, you can take that off. Um, but overall, it's, it was an awesome light. All right. The WowTac sold for uh, 60 bucks, And uh, I thought it was worth uh, every penny of that $60 price tag. All right. Very uh, capable flashlight. All right. So get ready for the confusing part. <laughs> um, through night basically adopted this model over to their branding, okay? So if you don't know, WowTac is owned by Thrunite, all right? So even though they have their own models and stuff like that, and WowTac is basically like a cheaper version of Thrunite, and Thrunite is already a cheaper version of flashlights in general, you know? Uh, what Thrunite has always been good at is taking something um, that's really common and uh, making it cheap, all right? You always got like the most light for the least amount of money with Thrunite. Now, uh, some of the lights in the past have been pretty inconsistent, uh, and I've heard, you know, tons of problems here and there. Uh, the only one I ever had a problem with, which I always talk about, is a TN12. That was just horrible for me. But I've had dozens of different through night flashlights in the past. And they've all been awesome. And specifically WowTac, I don't remember ever having a problem with their lights. Uh, the W1, I think, is one of my most used uh, WowTacs, even though they were, you know, pretty simple. Um, but yeah, anyway, long story short, they took it from the WowTac line and adopted it over to the through night line, okay? So it is the same light as the WowTac BSS version 4, however, they upgraded the LED, all right? So it's basically the same light, it's got all the same cool uh, features and all that kind of stuff. Um, same battery as well, 3100 milliamp hour, 18650, but they put a new LED in it. Now, what I really like about uh, this light is that they kept the same price, all right? The WowTac was 60 bucks. This version uh, under the through night branding is still $60, but you get more light for your money. So for the flashlight people who care, um, the LED that was in the WowTac version of the light was an XHP 35HI, very commonly used. That was puffing out 1,785 lumens on its highest turbo output. This LED, all right, let's we'll zoom in, not that it matters all that much. So I know LEDs for most people just look like LEDs. But this one is a SST70, okay? And with the same exact power source and the same exact setup, this is pushing out 2,523 lumens on its uh, turbo mode, all right? And uh, so that means we have an additional 738 lumens for the same price and the same light with the same setup. So essentially, if you have the WowTac Boy Scout Survival fourth version, fourth, uh, you know, uh, attempt at making it even better. Well, I guess third attempt since the original was number one. Um, and you like that light. Well, this is the same light, but it's brighter and it's the same price. Now, if you happen to get the WowTac BSS V4, I don't really see why you would spend the money on this because you already have it. Now, of course, it's not as bright, but it's still, you know, an awesome flashlight. It doesn't take away from the fact that it is a, a fantastic option. This one just happens to be a little brighter. This thing is ridiculously bright. It really is. Um, but uh, if you did not get a WowTac BSS before and you're on the fence about it, well, that's why I'm making the video, is to say that there's an even better version of it for the same price, all right? And I'm very, very, very glad to see that they did not change the price on this, all right? $60 is a lot of money for a flashlight for just the average person. Now, if you're talking about flashlight people, they spend thousands of dollars on flashlights, you know, over the course of multiple years. Um, some people drop, you know, hundreds of dollars on each light. Some people get custom flashlights, you know, but that's not the average person. All right. Joe Schmo is not necessarily spending, you know, hundred dollars on a flashlight. So $60, I would say across the board, especially like if you're into flashlights because of the whole, you know, EDC thing. And I use quotes there too, because that's a very, you know, broad, uh, explanation of, of guys who just like being prepared and like having gear, you know? So if you're like a crossover, like you're a knife guy. 
you know, and you happen to watch EDC videos and you're like, yeah, I, I can value flashlights, but you're not necessarily a flashlight guy, so to speak. Uh, you know, spending 60 bucks might be reasonable. Spending $100, $150, that's like out of your realm. You're like, ah, you know, it's just a flashlight, you know, because you're not specifically into it. It's just like there's a lot of crossover between guns and knives. And I've said this before in the past, but gun guys generally like knives, but they're not knife guys. And knife guys generally like guns, but they're not gun guys. And then there's people who are in between and they're like 50-50 or 100 and 100. People love both. <laughs> so there's a lot of variations on just being... You know, a prepared dude, I guess. Um, so yeah, I think that this flashlight would certainly appeal to anyone who might not have considered the WowTech uh, version of it. But if you happen to, um, you know, happen to like that light and you just want a newer version of it, maybe you're just beat up, maybe you just lost it or something. Uh, I don't even know if they're going to sell the WowTech version anymore. It just doesn't make sense. For the same price, you'd, you'd have this one anyway. So they're probably going to discontinue that. Um, I just think it's funny because, I mean, the original uh, WowTech BSS was a cool flashlight. And they just kept making it better and better and better. You know, so it's it's almost like, you know, getting the new big screen TV. You kind of want to hold out because, uh, you know, the technology advances so fast. It's like, you bought the best of the best and now, uh, well, next month there's something better. You can't really win if you're trying to play that game, so to speak, with flashlights. It's just, you get a flashlight that works for you. And it doesn't matter if flashlights are half the, the price and twice as bright next month, yours still works fine, okay? The very original, first version of the WowTech BSS was a good flashlight, right? They're just getting better and better. But anyway, let me make the video in case you uh, weren't familiar with it, or if you happen to see this and you're like, wait a minute, I thought, I thought the Boy Scout Survival flashlight was a WowTech. Well, now you know, WowTech is, is owned by Thrunite. You know, separate companies, but still within the same uh, umbrella, roof, or however you want to explain that. Um, but yeah, they're one and the same. They just have different models for WowTech than they do for Thrunite. But this one was just so popular, I guess, that they switched it over to the Thrunite branding. And uh, they upped that LED, which was nice. Like I said, for the same price, they could have just kept it exactly the same. And, you know, just threw a different name on there. But they actually made it a little bit better for the same price. So that's pretty cool. So anyway, let me know if you have any of the uh, Boy Scout survival versions of, you know, these flashlights. Uh, I think they're great. They do offer a ton of different options. So if you're like into flashlights, you know, you're a flashaholic, uh, you definitely value this more than other models. But if you're just like a regular, regular EDC girl or guy, and you just want like a handy dandy little flashlight, um, then yeah, I mean, $60 might be a little bit above what you're looking to get. There's plenty of $10 and $20 flashlights that will work totally fine for you. Um, these do take uh, 18650s. Um, this one happens to be uh, rechargeable, you know, through the side port here, it comes with the charging cable and all the other goodies and stuff. Um, but it's not for everyone. Some people just like their simple little AA flashlight or, or single AAA flashlight. So there's definitely, just like knives, there's different types of flashlights out there for different needs and different people. Uh, but for the flashaholics out there, this is a cool one to uh, take a look at if you have already not taken a look at the wild tag version of it. So yeah, that's a, that's a mouthful there. <laughs> but that, a whole video just to say that, yeah, they switched the brand and, and up the LED, but they kept the price the same. So just passing on the info. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a wonderful day. Again, if you have any of these BSS uh, you know, flashlights, let me know what you think of yours. But I've been pretty happy with them. I know one particular person that uh, I'm close to who has one and, um, you know, they love it as well. Um, but they really admit they don't use any other features. They just turn on turbo <laughs> and they're good to go. It's just, you know, a ton of light. What are you going to do? But some of the guys and girls out there definitely value some of the other features and stuff in flashlights. Uh, but if you want simplicity, this is definitely not the one for you. Although you could just turn it on and off. There's other options that are cheaper, you know, but uh, it is bright. I mean, 2,500 lumens is no joke. I know these days it seems like like not that big of a deal. Like, oh yeah, I got a flashlight, 2,000 lumens. Number one, uh, some companies inflate their numbers. So unless you have a, like a light influx box or whatever it is to measure the actual output of light, um, you know, and, and candle power and all that kind of stuff, you probably have no idea. All you can really do is compare them to each other. Uh, so if you had five flashlights, and you know, four of them were 100 lumens, and the fifth one is supposed to be 200 lumens, you can kind of get an idea that it's supposed to be about twice as bright. But sometimes it doesn't work out that way. Sometimes, you know, you have a flashlight that's 
700 lumens and you know you light it like wow that's pretty bright and then you have a flashlight that's supposed to be 1500 lumens but you look at it and it's like well it's not twice as bright it doesn't exactly work like that um but again it, it, it's our guess unless you're you know in the industry you don't really know for sure right uh, but there are people out there who do testing on flashlights and stuff and they actually can test and see uh, and i mentioned this dozens of times but if you're new to the videos and stuff uh, candlepowerforums.com it's, it's literally a place to go and talk about flashlights 24 7 and some of the guys over there they can measure these lights and make sure that they're accurate numbers and they do call out uh, companies occasionally when they're they're fluffing the numbers there you know but you can only really guess you have to uh, entrust to them it's kind of like blade steels when you have a major company you trust you know spyderco or benchmade or, or whatever i mean these companies say something is this you just trust it uh, and then when you're actually using that product, like in the case of knives, if something says it's S30V and you're using it, you're like, man, this is not holding a great edge. You might start questioning, is this really S30V? Now, there's other factors there that may make you think that something is not what it's supposed to be. Flashlight doesn't quite seem as bright as it should be, or if a knife doesn't quite perform like it should, there might be some other things going on there that's, you know, changing, you know, how that performance is. But especially if you have a chance to use different types of gear, for years and years and years you get a good idea of what to expect you know I, i've used a lot of flashlights i use a lot of knives so when something claims to be what it is i, I you know right away i kind of either I, I just go yeah that's about what it should be or i kind of question it a little bit and go eh, i don't know you know so there you go guys in short another uh version of the uh, boy scout survival flashlight how about that I, I don't think i've ever seen any other flashlight that's had so many renditions to make them better and better and better i can't imagine if there's going to be a, a v5 or something it's just going to get I don't, I don't know what you have to do you know stuff another battery in there and make it even brighter <laughs> but anyway that is it for now hope you guys have a wonderful day and i'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video take care guys